Hey, good morning. Jesus is Lord. The word works, but you got to make it first place in your life. I want to talk to you today about focus. What you put first in your life, are you focus on, is where you're going. You know, you drive your car down the road, you just got to focus. You need to look way down the road there. or You don't drive forward, look it in reverse. I'm going somewhere with that. You cannot go forward with your life in Christ if you're always looking in the past, always looking what's behind. The Bible says, while we look not at the things that were seen, uh, the message that you had. And if you don't watch it, you'll start meditating on how many failures you had. See, when the devil brings up your past, you tell him, I'm redeemed. I'm forgiven. Now, I don't know why, but it seems like for me, for some reason or other, the devil keeps bringing up all my past. We made a little road trip yesterday, and I drove by an old truck stop that I used to go to when I was driving a truck. And we're talking, you know, 45 years ago when I was driving a transfer truck for a living and brought up something that happened there. And, and I said, ah, no, no, that's 50 years ago, 40 years ago. I don't have to do that. The Bible says in Proverbs 4.20, My son, attend to my word incline thine ears to my saying, let them, the words, not depart out of your heart, keep them before your eyes. So you got to meditate, think on the word. Now, somebody says, well, you know, I did that for years, you know, and faith comes by hearing. Well, it says faith comes by hearing, but not by having heard. Maybe back there a long time ago, you went to a lot of Brother Hagin's meetings or Brother Copeland's meetings, and so now you think you've got all you need. I got news for you. The faith that I had 20 years ago is not going to put me over the, for what I've got to have today because the Bible says now faith is. So I have to meditate on the Word every day. I've got to plant it every day. Now I'm going to go back uh, 60 years ago or maybe 65 years ago and bring up a memory that some of you probably have. When you learn to ride a bicycle, <laughs> You know, we lived in the country, and the road that went to our house was a dirt road. And I had just learned to ride a bicycle with, you know, without training wheels. I'm five, six, maybe seven years old. And they come through there, and they, they paved that old road. It was just gravel. Uh, you know, they just sprayed it with tar and put gravel on it. But it was better than the dirt road that we had. And I'd love to get out there with my bicycle and ride. You know, in those days, you could just do what you wanted to do. You didn't have to worry about the neighbors. And it was a real sparsely populated area anyway. And I was riding my bicycle up the road one day, and they had come through there and cut ditches down each side of that new road. And I got to looking at that ditch and thinking to myself, as a kid, I don't want to run in that ditch. And I got to focus it on the ditch. And I got a little closer to the ditch, and I got to focus it on that ditch. And before long, I ran in the ditch. It just seemed like it had a big old magnet, and that ditch just pulled me and the bicycle over there, and I ran in the ditch. I, you know, didn't get hurt bad, got scratched up a little bit. And um, I went home, and my mama was sitting on the swing outside, and she says, uh, she said, Frankie, what happened to you? You know, I had some scratches here and there. And I said, the ditch got me. She said, what, son, what? I said, the ditch up the road, it got me. I said, I was riding my bicycle in that ditch, just pulled me over there into it. And she said, no, it didn't. She said, you got to thinking about it and you got to focusing on it. And she was so right. What you focus on, people sit around, they focus on their lack. I don't have enough money to pay my a house payment. I don't have enough money to pay my rent or, or you know, I'm, I don't have enough money to pay my rent and buy groceries. And they focus on that. Well, then the money that they had seems to get wandered away. It's like that ditch. It pulled me over there into it. So you got to focus on the fact that my God supplies my needs according to his riches and glory or the scripture that says wealth and riches are in my house and focus on that and not be moved by what you see. Now, I can go in there in a little bit. I'm sitting out on the front porch. But I can go inside and I can go to the computer, a lot different now than it was years ago, but I can go to the computer, put in my numbers, and you know, and, and I can check on how much money I got in the bank. You know, I've got a little bit, not near what I believe I should have, but I got a little bit. I can check on that. Well, then in my mind, I'm going to think, I can spend this today or I can spend this today. I've got one really big uh, bill I got to pay this morning about 9 o'clock. I got to go pick up uh, a truck that I've had to have worked on, and I know it's going to be expensive. I've already checked it in there. Well, I'm thinking, I got 
I got to transfer some money, you know, to get it into there. Well, I'm not talking about transferring money from my savings account, even though that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to transfer some money from my heavenly bank account, and I'm going to put it in there because my God supplies my needs according to his riches and glory, and then I'm not going to focus on how much I spent. And if I hadn't had to spend that on that transmission, then I'd have lots of money. No, I'm not focusing on that at all. I'm focusing on the word of God that says that God supplies my needs according to his riches and glory. Watch, same thing. I'm not going to focus on how I feel. Um, we made a road trip yesterday, and I'm tired. I'm going to be honest with you. We drove 450 miles, and I did all the driving in one day's time. And I got in last night, and I was a little tired. That's why I'm late putting out this program this morning. I'm not focusing on how I feel. I'm focusing on that he sent his word and healed me, and that my youth is renewed like that of the young eagle, and the Lord is the strength of my back. I'm going to focus on the word rather than focus on how I feel. And somebody he says, well, it's all right to feel bad if you drove that much. I'm not focusing on that. I'm focusing on the Word. I'm going to talk about this a couple of days. Make sure your focus is on the promises of God, and all the promises of God are yes and amen, are yes, and so be it. Have a great weekend. So until I'm with you tomorrow, saints, remember all day, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the Word works.